things to know about power banks. Most people buy power banks based on indicated charging capacities. However, there are some details that we need to understand in order to maximize the use of these rechargeable batteries. Power banks have become a huge secondary market commodity following the popularity of smartphones and tablets. In this quick video, we explain why not all power banks are created equal. Number 1. Recharge Cycles and Lifespan Power banks, like any other rechargeable batteries, have a recommended recharge cycle. A good power bank will have somewhere around 500 recharge cycles, while substandard ones will have around 300 cycles only. Once this recharge cycle is fully consumed, the power bank will no longer be able to recharge to its usual capacity and degrades to about 50 to 70%. Number 2. Power Storage Capacity Power banks cannot store 100% of the full power capacity that it states it can. Good ones can give you between 70 to 80%. That means if your typical power bank says it can do 10,000 mAh, the actual capacity could just be 7,000 mAh. Number 3. AA Batteries Cylindrical Lithium Ion Rechargeable Most power banks use a 65mm AA-like rechargeable batteries. 18650 Cylindrical Lithium Ion Rechargeable connected in a series. These are easier to use, manufacture, and assemble. That's the reason why a lot of power banks have similar but odd-numbered capacities like 5,200 mAh or 10,400 mAh. This is because they use multiple rechargeable batteries, multiples of 2,200 mAh to 3,400 mAh. Number 4. Output Voltage and Output Current the symbol MAH does not mean milliamps as most of us refer to, but it is actually milliamp per hour and means measure of electric charge. On the other hand, watt hour is the measure of electric energy. The relationship of the two is shown in this formula. The typical voltage for Li ion in power banks is 3.7, but output can go up to 5 volts. This is the reason why we see either of the two numbers in smartphones, laptops, or power banks. The output current is measured in ampere which states how fast the current is passed through the device. Most smartphones will use 1A while bigger tablets like the iPad might use 2.1A. Power banks have different ports for 1A and 2.1A while the fewer ones have intelligent sensing ports that auto-adjust the current depending on what the device needs. Some phones, like the Oppo Find 7, can handle up to 4A of current without damaging its internal battery. Number 5. Charging Cables Charging cables are not created equal. Most cables have a data wire and a charging wire within the cable itself. Typical charging cables are in the 28-28 gauge range with a wire diameter of about 0.321mm. The first number represents the gauge of the data wire and the second number represents the charging wire. This is the reason why some cables would not charge phones or indicate slow charging. We suggest getting a 28 by 24 gauge cable which are thicker. The 24 gauge ones are about 60% larger in diameter and can handle 2 amps of current. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to Unitech for more tech reviews and updates and follow our other social media links. See you on the next video.